To create a multicam clip in Final Cut, you first need to import your clips. And so this is three cameras that all were recording simultaneously and audio from an audio recorder. Um, one thing that's important beforehand is to make sure your cameras are synchronized. You can see here that all three of these cameras content was created February 11th, 1054. The seconds are a little bit different, but it's close enough that it's going to make this pretty easy. One other thing you have to do before actually telling Final Cut to synchronize is check each of your cameras over here in the Info tab of the Inspector. Make sure that the name of each camera is different. So we'll just name them Camera 1, Camera 2, and Camera 3. And this one is not going to have a name. We'll just call this Audio. All right. That way, when Final Cut goes to synchronize these, it will know that they're different cameras and that they should be um, not on the same track. We'll see that in a minute. So we'll select all of these. Uh, you can either drag over all of them, you can click the first one and hold shift and click the last one, or you can click them one at a time holding down the command key. It's up to you. Right click, new multicam clip, name this whatever you want. And then Final Cut goes to work synchronizing. So now we have this new multicam clip. You can see the icon is different. And if we double click on this, it will open down here in the timeline and you can see that all three of these camera tracks are stacked on top of each other and here's the audio track. Now I want the audio track on the bottom so I'm going to grab this little handle over here and move it down and then we have put these in the order that makes most sense to you it doesn't really matter that much. So in order to see all of your cameras at the same time you're going to want to open the multicam viewer so that's under window, viewer display and show angles and that will open this and up here you can go to settings. We have uh, three different angles, so we'll open the four angle viewer so there's enough room for all of them. And now you can see all of the cameras are synchronized. So if you start playing and you notice that your cameras are not synchronized, you can zoom in, command plus to zoom here, and look at your waveforms. And if we can't see all of them, we can drag this up. If you look at the waveform, the audio of each of these clips, you can see that they all line up. Obviously, in this one, they do line up. If they were a little bit off, you can click this and adjust them to get them synced up right. If they don't synchronize smoothly automatically, then you can kind of go and manually do it. Most of the time, if your cameras are synchronized and your audio is decent, Final Cut is going to do a good job. Once you do that, you're going to come back up here, File, New, Project. Again, you can name this whatever you want something that makes sense. And now we want to put our multicam clip into our timeline. Uh, two things to do before you get started. One, make sure that this button is selected, the video only editing, because when we switch cameras, we want the audio to come from our audio channel. We don't want to be switching audio channels as well. We only want to be switching video. So that does that. And then, um, Next thing we're going to do is come down here, right click and say active audio angle audio. Okay, that means that now for this whole clip our active angle is audio and when we're making changes, switching cameras, the audio is not going to change, it's just going to stay, it's going to switch camera angles over top of that. So now what we can do, we can play through this. Let's see, at the beginning we're going to go all the way to the beginning, I'm going to hit the one key because I want camera one to start and now I can play this and you can see the camera clips start at different points but once they're all live here we can see them all and then as we go through here if I want to change camera angles of my uh, program view or your final output whatever is going to show in your final video you can just hit the key on the keyboard one two or three for can camera angle one two or three here or you can click on them it's up to you once you have made some edits I've made a few edits here and the edit points aren't quite where I want them but they're close I can zoom in I can grab the trim tool the shortcut for that is T and with the trim tool I can grab an edit point and move both of them at the same time so if I hit that button to change camera angles and I didn't get it quite where I wanted I can use this to kind of fine-tune that and also just like a normal edit point once that's highlighted in yellow you can use the comma and the period key to adjust that edit point one frame at a time or if you hold shift and hit the period of the comma you can go 10 frames at a time so there you go that is how to edit a multicam clip
Remember, the first thing to do when you get these imported is make sure that the cameras have different names or it will put them all on the same track and they won't work. So give everything a different name, synchronize it, then make a new project that will give you a timeline to edit in and then put your multicam down here in the timeline, set your active audio angle and away you go.